This is Gene Key, KDDD, Texas News. The Associated Press reports from Fort Worth. Three key defensive players on the Texas Christian football team are among 17 students arrested in a campus drug bust. Linebacker Tanner Brock, the leading tackler two seasons ago, defensive tackle DJ Yendry, and cornerback Devin Johnson were among four football players arrested Wednesday. The other is offensive lineman Ty Horn. Police say they were caught making hand-to-hand sales of marijuana, cocaine, ecstasy, and prescription drugs to undercover officers. TCU Police Chief Steve McGee said the arrest came after a six-month investigation prompted by complaints from students, parents, and others. Police would not rule out other arrests, but said only people caught selling drugs had been arrested Wednesday. From the Associated Press, a federal judge has told Republican leaders in Texas to plan as though the state's primary will be May 29, because the long-running dispute over the redistricting likely won't allow for it to be held any earlier. U.S. Circuit Court Judge Jerry Smith on Wednesday did not officially set that as the new primary date, but the judge's guidance virtually extinguishes any chance of Texas holding an April primary. A primary in May or later risks making Texas irrelevant in choosing the Republican presidential nominee. Texas had been scheduled to take part in March's Super Tuesday, but the state's ongoing battle over voting maps derailed that. Earlier Wednesday, the sides announced a deal on a temporary map for the disputed state Senate boundaries, leaving unresolved the state, house, and congressional maps. KHOU.com reports a naked cowgirl led Corpus Police on a car chase. The naked woman led Corpus Christi Police on a chase this week before she was arrested and charged with DWI, according to KZTV in Corpus Christi. Taylor Burnham, 18, was wearing only cowboy boots Sunday when she was spotted standing near a Jeep Wrangler. When they tried to question her, she jumped into the vehicle and drove away. After a brief chase, Burnham pulled over and surrendered. A female officer helped her get dressed before she was given a sobriety test, according to a KZTV reporter. If you would like the latest Duma, Panhandle, and Texas news on your mobile device, you can follow KDDD News on YouTube. Simply search KDDD or Gene Key on Facebook or Twitter. This is Gene Key, KDDD, Texas News.